Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain SNES here, and today I'm going to be talking about my final thoughts on the Switch before it releases in less than a week. We are less than a week from this thing launching, and I am so excited. But before this video begins, I have to say that uh, my windows are open, so you could hear cars driving by every now and then. It's just a really nice day outside, and I just kind of wanted to have my windows open, so there's that. Now, I have a bunch of different categories for the Switch. Uh, that I want to touch on and I'm just gonna get it right into them. So first of all we have the design of the Switch. I really like the design of the Switch. It is apparently super thin, like thinner than the Wii U gamepad. Like you look at it and I was like that's not super thin but if you compare it to the gamepad it is pretty thin. The Joy-Cons are awesome. Like I've not been able to touch any of these things, okay? I have not had my ex own experience with these things but so far everything looks beautiful. The only thing that I could touch on that maybe should be changed, but I don't think it'll hinder anything at all, is the bezel around the screen, the little black line around the screen. I I would like that to be smaller because we're basically getting into a time where everything is becoming bezel-less, and that has like a, a kind of thickish bezel for something nowadays, but I'm perfectly fine with that. It's okay. It's not going to hinder anything. Now, to get on to the hardware inside the Switch, we have had so many different things thrown around that may have, may or may not have been true about the Switch, but we do know that, we do know basically everything that's going to be in it. So we know that it's going to have some kind of NVIDIA Tegra chip in it, it's going to have a 4-core processor in it with about... I want to say like 2 point something gigahertz. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if I'm wrong. Don't dislike the video just because I'm giving this wrong information. Yeah, I don't know if that's right or not. And I think I said RAM, Tegra processor, that kind of processor. Okay, yeah, and it's going to have the 32 megabytes. I mean, 32 gigabytes. Oh my god, megabytes would be terrible. That's like not even enough for the whole system UI and everything. So we know about the hardware inside of it, and yes, it's not the best but hopefully the switch will get its own exclusives from third parties like hopefully nintendo will do something that they did with bayonetta and go out to third parties and make first party games for or i guess their second party games for nintendo exclusive for their system so that's hoping that's what i'm hoping for mm, the ui looks very easy and beautiful to get around with the wii u and the 3ds if you ever wanted to change anything in the settings it kind of was a kind of lengthy process. I used kind of a bit there. It was a lengthy process, especially on the, the Wii U. I hated how on the Wii U you had to have the gamepad to do anything in your settings. And that actually stopped me from playing my Wii U for about a year because my gamepad broke. And I hated how dependent that thing was on the gamepad. And it doesn't look like the Switch is going to have anything where you need to be docked for it. Or you need to have Joy-Cons for it. So that's nice. The UI is just blank and beautiful and crisp and clean. I don't know, it just looks so good. It's just so minimalistic, but so good at the same time. The price of the system is something everybody knows, everybody's talked about, but I'm just going to touch on it real quick. $300. You know, everybody has their own thoughts on it. Everybody's saying, well, why would I go buy a Switch if I could spend $50 less and go out and get an Xbox One S for $250 with Battlefield 1? And what I have to say to that is, okay, what about the people that bought the Xbox One at launch for $500 or the PS4 for $400 at launch? And then the Switch is only going to be $300? I mean, there might be not so much room for um, cost to go down, but it is a very low cost for a system right at launch. And I think it's stupid for anybody to say that it's overpriced. Maybe they're just the people that were pissed off that it wasn't $250, but really I'm comparing this thing to like an iPad mini and those things are expensive, so I think you're really getting a lot for your dollar. Things I think you need to get for the Switch on launch day are a screen protector and a case for it, which I'm getting the Legend of Zelda Deluxe Edition, which already comes with the Sheikah Slate case, so I'm good on that part, but I really need to get a screen protector for this thing. Hopefully I can pick one up at GameStop when I go to pick my Switch up, because that is going to be an essential. I'm planning on bringing this thing to school and playing it in study halls, okay? <laughs> and um, my plans with the Switch, after I get it, 
planning on making an unboxing video and I was like god dang it I was gonna be like one of the first people to make unboxing videos but Nintendo sent out so many switches to so many different people that have all done unboxings on it that it's kind of gonna be a market that everybody's already done it but I'm still gonna do it I'm gonna bring you guys an unboxing hopefully somehow figure out a way to make it I don't know different from all the other unboxings uh, I want to do a video where I go through the UI, I want to do a couple gaming videos on Breath of the Wild, kind of like I did with Skyrim, and uh, yeah, those are my plans for the Switch. So overall, I am very excited for the Switch. I know that in past videos, I have said that it's going to fail, which, uh, yeah, that's like one of my most viewed videos now, and I'm still getting hate on it because people don't look at the tag on it, like the, the date tag, and see when it was made. So yeah, I'm getting hate on that video, but past two videos I've said bad things about it. This one, I'm only saying good things. I mean, basically only good things could happen. The only thing, the really, the only thing bad, software, I mean the hardware, which is what could kill it, but right now, the future's looking good for it, especially since Nintendo's giving us first party IPs, I mean, yeah, they're giving us first party games. Um, like every two to three months this entire year so this is gonna be a great year for the switch everything I think is gonna go over well for them I don't think it's gonna fail like the Wii U did after two or three months because I remember the Wii U got I think it was two to three million sales the first second maybe third month and then everything slowed down from there and I really don't think that's gonna happen with the switch now we might have a drought of systems right after the launch because some retailers are saying that they're not going to get another shipment until April but we already have the guaranteed 2 million switches at launch and then GameStop has come out and said that there are, are going to have some more for the people that didn't pre-order so that's nice too but I think this is going to be an amazing year for Nintendo I'm just so excited for everything and I've seen more Breath of the Wild gameplay than I want to and there's probably going to be Breath of the Wild gameplay in this video but other than that don't forget to like, please like the video, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. It's been Captain SNES signing out, and hopefully next Sunday I'll have some Switch videos for you. Peace out.